Yes, guys, welcome back to Kosi's Arsenal podcast. My name is Kosi, back again with another video, another transfer episode for on a daily basis. Just Arsenal news, just Arsenal transfer news for episodes. So if you want to subscribe because of transfers, do that because you're in the right place. Of course, don't uh, forget to smash a like on the video and um, let me know your thoughts in the comments below about Arsenal transfers, our season and our next season. Obviously, I need to hear from you people. Now, I've been attacked on the last on the last live show. I was uh, I was attacked because um, you know people saying, "Cosi, you don't give us your sources. Where do you get your news?" It's you know it's as easy as this. On every episode, I'll be giving you a screenshot of the story and the source. How about that? So that we can actually roll on the same page. So today we're going to talk about Bisuma in this video, actually, not today. But we're going to talk about Bisuma and Tariq Lamptey. The Independent are saying that um, Arsenal is reportedly re uh, leading the race to sign Brighton and Hove Albion duo. Yevis Bisuma and Tariq Lamptey. The source is the Independent. And we are going to discuss that, you know, in, 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 um, um, in a little bit of, a detail, of, of detail. We're going to try to uh, understand this story. Because I think in my, you know, in my own perspective, if there is a player... Arsenal have been linked with more in the past uh, seven weeks. It's been Yavis Bisuma. Does it happen? Does it not happen? According to the Independent, they're saying we are leading the race and we are going to look at that story in detail. Do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, um, subscribe to my second channel. Link is in the description. I'm about to, I might announce a new sponsorship, uh, the first ever sponsorship on the channel. So make sure you always, always keep. Um, yourselves in the know by subscribing to this channel. So, um, Javis Bisuma, Tariq Lamptey, uh, linked with us. No, it's not the first time you've seen these stories. Um, a couple of weeks ago, the Mail also reported the same story, um, and they said Arsenal were leading the race to sign Yevis Bisuma. And now, according to the Independent, they are saying Arsenal is leading the race to sign Yevis Bisuma plus Tariq Lamptey. Um, a few days ago, um, it was, I think it was Fabrizio Romano, who said, Tariq Lamptey was very, very keen on a move to Arsenal. Very, very keen on a transfer move to Arsenal. Despite the fact that Arsenal are looking at Max Aarons and the likes of Ashraf Hakimi instead of um, uh, Tariq Lamptey. But he said if, you know, if, 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 if there is um, an opportunity, if there is a chance for him to sign for Arsenal, he will actually let the opportunity be taken. So what do you think of people? What do you think about Bisuma and Terry Clamty? Um, are they the kind of players you want? You, you want Terry Clamty at right back and uh, Yavis Bisuma in the midfield? I've asked this question so many times um, and by now I know the response of many people. You know, you, you've told me um, you want Yavis Bisuma, you want Terry Clamty, you want um, Max Aarons. Um, the big question for me in, um, in, this transfer, uh, in this transfer saga is Yavis Bisuma, 40 million pounds, is he going to be the deal? Is it going to be the deal? Is Arsenal going to put 40 million pounds on the table? Because trust me, Brighton will not stand in the way of Yabis Bisuma. But it's going to be about the money. The det what determines is going to be the money. The moment Arsenal put the money on the table, you know, we shall get the plan. The moment we fail to do, the, uh, to put, to do that, to put that money on the table... We shall not get the player. But if you look at uh, Bisuma's statistics this season, just on your screen, Yavis Bisuma was the only player to take 100 and plus, to make 100 and plus tackles and 50 plus interceptions in the Premier League this season with 64 interceptions and 104 tackles. He also won 227 duels. That is according to, uh, to, to squawkerfootball.com on Twitter, obviously. But... I think the quality of Bisuma is undisputed and unprecedented. Truth is, I like how Samoa. Truth is, I like Kamavinga. And the only reason, don't get me wrong, the only reason as to why I place Kamavinga um, and place how Samoa over Bisuma is only one reason. They are progressive players. They love going forward. But in terms of tackling, in terms of being a number six, in terms of being a CDM, in terms of being that strong midfield dynamite, Bisuma is class A above. Just look at Charles Watts, one of the best Arsenal correspondents in the world. He said, yeah, Arsenal really should be locking Bisuma in the changing rooms after, um, after this has finished. He, you know, he just, you know, he put out this tweet yesterday at around, um, he 
put out this tweet yesterday at around, um, I think at around 8 p.m. And he was really talking about how Beavis Bisuma had, you know, had been brilliant throughout the whole game. I think in, in, in the whole Br uh, Brighton team, it was Bisuma alone. And this season, he's been their player of the season. He's been their best player, honestly. There is no other player at Brighton that has been as good as um, Yavis Bisuma. Talk about the likes of Tariq Lamptey. You can talk about the likes of... Um, you know, the, the, the likes of Trossard and, and, and the others, but Bisuma has been exceptional. An exceptional talent, an exceptional player, an exceptional work rate. And, you know, a player you want, you know, you, you want at a big side. If I was Liverpool, if I was, if I was Manchester City, if I was Manchester United, this is the player I would go for. And we, I, I, like I said, we are a little bit lucky. Bisuma, there is no competition. You can go out there, sign him, you know, sign him off without a lot of competition, pay you 40 million, and then just keep quiet. The next three years, you're going to have the best midfield uh, with Thomas Sparte and Yavis Bisuma. So we, we wait to see. We are leading the race according to the independent. We lead the race for Tariq Lamptey and Yavis Bisuma. What will happen after that? Of course, uh, the other story about Tariq Lamptey, um, I think, you know, I, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what the hell is going to happen with Arsenal and our... And our um, right back situation it's a very very hard one the right back situation and arsenal is causing fire it's just causing fire the first thing you have to think about um when you talk about players like terry clampty he's been in the premier league he's proven but max Aarons has also been in the premier league at least he's proven been in the championship and proven the likes of ashraf akimi the likes of uh, um the, the likes of what was the name of that guy at real abatis just forget emerson royal all those boys, they have proven this season. They have had wonderful seasons, respective of, their, uh, of the league, respective of what they have actually um, been through. But the question for me is, if we go for Tariq Lamptey, is he the best? Is he um, an upgrade? Just think about that. Whenever you think about an Arsenal transfer this season, it should be an upgrade. If it's not an upgrade, I'm not taking you. Honestly, I'm not taking that player. So in terms of Bisuma, in terms of Tariq Lamptey, um, I think Bisuma is an upgrade to Granit Xhaka. Tariq Lamptey is an upgrade to Hector Bellerin, especially uh, defensive-wise, because that's, that has been our problem. Defensive-wise, our right-backs have been so awful. Abysmal, very average, stinking. You can call it whatever you want. So uh, bringing in Tariq Lamptey, it would be a very good, especially financially, because you're going to um, pay around 20 million or 15 million or 18 million. It depends on um, what Brighton will be asking for. A very good deal financially without a lot of competition. I don't think there are so many clubs uh, looking for right backs in, the, um, in, in this summer. The likes of Real Madrid are looking at uh, Hakimi. The likes of ba um, Bayern are looking at uh, Ashraf Hakimi. We have a chance to sign Tariq Lamptey for free. Um, I mean, I, I don't mean, really mean for free, but, you know, for a, a, a very cheap fee, and then we can actually settle in. So Tariq Lamptey, Bisuma, the latest is that Arsenal is leading the race for those two as per that independent. And I'll come back. And I'll tell you more and more and more. Do me a favor, smash the like button if you love the content. Uh, keep subscribing if you're new and you love the content. And of course, subscribe to my second channel because we'll do a lot of um, sports videos there. Um, it means a lot. And like I said, if I announce a new sponsorship in the coming 48 hours, don't be surprised and make sure um, you're, uh, you're prepared for a betting show. The moment I get the sponsorship, We'll begin a betting show. Many, many of you have always asked for a betting show. The moment I get that sponsorship, we'll go into uh, a betting show. Otherwise, keep safe, and I'll see you on the other side.